Okay. We are in the dashboard, and what we're going to do is we're going to products because we're going to add a new product. Now, this is how we actually add a new product. We come up to this feature right here, which is called add new. Okay, now on this side over here, the right-hand side, it says duplicate this product. If this is a very complex product, I just want to explain this, and you need to copy it again and just change your name and add another picture, that's fine. That's what the duplicate is for. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. Um, I want to explain a couple of things about the dashboard. Um, we have uh, this SEO program called Yoast. I want to go into it a little bit. So pretty much this is metadata. And this helps you to get your actual product found in Google. You know, a lot of people get traffic to their site, but not converge. This will help convert because if a person goes into Google and let's say they look up a t-shirt and you're ranked high enough, your product comes up and they come to your site. So this is what the metadata is for. But let's go into adding a product. What I like to do make things easier is... I like to come over here and select my picture that I'm going to be working with first. Okay. Let's add this hoodie okay as you can see we'll call it the truth hoodie okay Now, this field up here is the long field. So you can put in, you know, a description if it's wool. Uh, you can put the long description in. You know, anything you want to put. Sizes that it comes in. Um, let's just put... A nice No, let's just put in, um, a nice idea that will make it uh, wardrobe even nicer than it is.
Just something to play with there. Okay. So put I would put here, since it's a brand, I would put my company name. It has a the finest finest hoodies on the market okay there's a reason I would put this like this so when this picture goes in it's going to populate in Google and it's going to make anybody want to see your items so we've done that much Now, we can make this a varial product because this going home in one color, but we want the sizes. So we're going to go to this button here where we're going to click attributes. And we're going to select custom product attribute and we're going to add it. Now we're going to use the variations and what we're going to do, we're going to name it as size because that's what we need the drop down to be. So we go into here and we're going to do a small and we hold the shift and this key is over the top of the return. Got to use this character, medium. Extra large. And then 2XL. Wait, wait. 2XL. Okay. And that is it. Then we come to save attributes. The next thing we have to go to variations because we now we have to make it available. Now we have to add the variations. We hit the go button. We want to create, no, actually, we want to come down to create variations from all attributes. That's what we want. So let's save. Okay. Now, it says it's going to be up to 50, but it's going to now just so I don't mess myself up, I want to oh it updated it it did it <clears throat> your short description is going to be the description that appears right under the cart so let's put this hoodie is very sexy. Okay. And if we wanted to add a size chart, we could add one. I don't have a size chart specifically for this. But it's good. Now let's just 
temporarily, I'm going to make this hoodie a woman's hoodie. And I'm going to publish this. But I want to make sure I save this. But I'm not coming out of anything yet. I'm still staying into it. Now, you see how this is what it's going to... That's the way it's going to read. <clears throat> now, we want to give SKU numbers. Let's call it a DS1. No, H for hoodie. One. And I want to enable manage stock. Now, I only have 12 pieces. So I want to make sure that I put on there. And I'm not going to have allow back orders. I just don't believe it's a good practice, but you you have that option. So I put in my 12 pieces and I'm good to go. Now I'm gonna click my variations because that's what I need to do. Now, if you notice, I wasn't able to put up a price. So I have to go back to add variations and I need to set my regular price. This hoodie is $49.99. So I gotta press go. I'm gonna enter the value, $49.99. Now look at what happens. In one click, boop, everyone is going to be affected. And I'll show you what I mean. Because I'm going to hit the expand button so that you can see everything was affected. Okay. Now, I want to have a sale price. So I'm going to close this. And I'm going to go back. And I'm going to set my sale price. So I'm going to hit go. <clears throat> now I'm going to put $39.99. Now when it comes up on the site, Now I can expand this and it's there. Now there's uh, other things you'd have to enter in separately, like pretty much your weight. And if you want to put your dimensions in, this makes life easier. It's not necessary, but we can put this in now. I can go here, click on this picture. No, we don't need to add the picture because it's already there because we're using the product picture. Now, one cool feature, feature with the sale is we can go back here. Since there's so many items, I don't really want to be scrolling down. So I'm just showing you the easiest option. We go back here into pricing and we can set the sale date. Let's just say Here you go. Now, the calendar is going to come up. Let's say we want the sale date to be 
December. Fifth. There we go. And we want to end the sale date. It's a two day sale. December 7th. That should be two days. But we could also let's expand. And you could see the schedule. It's set. We could change the schedule. Now, um, since we had went down and we all put in the major price, we can, it's a 2XL, it's just customary that this costs more. And that's how I would change this. Now, Let's go into, if we had to add a gallery of different images, like if this came in a different colors, we would hit product gallery and we'd put the different colors, let's different shots here. Now let's make sure that we publish it, update it. Now it's updated. You always want to check your workout. So you go to view product. Look at your sizes. We want It took the sale in immediately. We'll have to fix that. Nope, I don't want a 2XL. Let's add, I want a 2XL. Let's add it to the cart. And there we go. So we go back into edit. Now I noticed something, the date is off in this machine. So we have to go to settings. Well, let me fix that. It's this setting right here. We are in America. So this is how our time format has to read. Month, date, year. And we could have time format just like that. We hit save changes and anyone can register that means they can go inside sign up and have their own account The 
the sight language, this is just a cool feature. It can be changed. The language we have is English, but it can be changed if it goes anywhere in the world. The user can fix it so they can read it. Awesome. Okay, let's go back to products. I want to stick with what I was talking about. Let's fix this. We have to expand. And we schedule. That's doing it manually, or we can go here. I prefer doing it manually. Because I like the fact that the calendar comes up. It doesn't come up the other way. <laughs> and this is how you add a variable product. Now let's say if we wanted to duplicate this product. This is what we would basically do. Press duplicate. Now it's going to save this as a draft automatically and as a copy. So now just let's say we wanted to change this to hats. This is how we would edit it. You got all the hats broken up so I can do it like this. Now I notice she has a gallery for the hats. So, we're gonna put this, this, gonna add that to the gallery, gonna add that to the gallery, go back. I'm on my iPad, so I have to do everything individually. I don't have a keyboard to select everything at one time. So, these are all my products. Now, um, the hats, since I copied this, there's no size. So, we would have to close. We want to remove this one. We don't need it. What we're going to do, we're going to add an attribute, and this one has to be color. And then we have to use select that. So this is how we would do this. Color. 
Now, you have blue. Next one should be burgundy. Um, you have black. And charcoal. Yeah, you have, she has two in the same picture, which is fine. So, therefore, we just do it this way. Now, we're done. So, we want to make sure we save the attributes. Now, we're going to come back to variations because we got to produce it now. We want to make sure that we create the colors that we need. We don't want it any color. So it's gonna give us four variations. We're going to sell this hat for $19. We're not going to worry about a sale price. $19.99. So it's going to shoot it in all our fields. Okay. Now, we're going to go into the blue hat. Now, we're going to open this. We got to expand everything. Okay, now we know we don't have the picture. So we're going to go This one looks like the blue one. Okay. I just can't see it's very small on my iPad. So that's the image that we're going to have there. The burgundy one, we're going to have to input it. That looks burgundy to me. Now we have the black. That's going to be this one here. put that in there as well so now we come down to oh it's a brown I didn't see that one but it's okay let's publish let's view the product Let me edit this first. Let's go back. No, it's fine. I just want to show you that it works. I'm going to select the blue hat. The burgundy hat. Black and charcoal will come up. Black and charcoal. So, if I wanted to order the burgundy hat, I would just add it to my cart. And the burgundy hat's in there. 
these on the side, because the image is small, you can't take advantage of it, but it kind of shows you the variations here on the side. I just forgot to put the name the hat. So let's go back into product. Let's edit. Now at the same time, Let's add a category for hat because it can't go in the woman's hoodie. This is the category hats. I want to keep everything organized when you're doing this. Okay, it's selected as a hat. Then we're going to come up. And we're going to call this skull cap. Okay. You press update. Product looks much better now. And that's it.